Hello everyone! Today we have something special. I have a Tokyo treat box, which I don't normally get. This is the April one. It's Sakura Starlight Snack Fest. Thank you to Rashid for sending me this box. I really appreciate it because there's different things in here that I don't normally get, like Doodles, which I'm really hyped for. So thank you very much for sending me this box. Now let's see what's inside. Oh, these boxes are bigger than the other ones. I'm not good at dealing with them. Okay, so the first thing in here is... Kit Kat Banana Caramel. Okay, this is a bit weird. These boxes, I've only had, I want to say, three. But they usually have one of those weird Japanese Kit Kat flavors. And this time it is Banana Caramel. Now, at first when I saw it, I thought it was like chocolate banana, because that's kind of normal. But banana caramel, that's uh, interesting. I mean, it does have chocolate, but anyway, they're pretty good. There's a lot in here, actually, so I can share them with people, which is fun. And yeah, they come in these little things, and it's not as weird a combination as I thought it would be. It tastes pretty equally of banana and caramel, so I'm not usually a fan of like real bananas, but banana flavor is great, so these were pretty excellent, actually. The next thing is Puku Puku Thai Strawberry. So, um, this is, I've had something like this before. They are like a wafer cookie type thing that has, I think this describes it as strawberry cream, but it's usually more like um, the chocolate in like an arrow bar. Oh, it smells real good. I actually have this intact, so you can, uh, well, sort of intact, so you can kind of see it. So, taiyaki is usually like a cake that has filling, generally red bean, but sometimes other things, and it's fish-shaped traditionally for some reason that I don't actually know. So this is supposed to mimic that. It's fish-shaped. And I guess this goes with, this is kind of like a festival theme. So yeah, taiyaki is sometimes sold at like stands. We actually had a stand downtown that had taiyaki for a while, which was pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, so they sell these at festivals and I don't think I've ever seen one that's pink on the outside, like the wafer part is pink. Usually it's more like an ice cream cone. Like it has that texture anyway. Yeah, so they describe it as strawberry cream, but it's just like bubbly arrow type chocolate. And it's pretty good strawberry actually. I will eat the rest of him later. Mmm. I love these. They also sell them in like, it's like an ice cream cone. So it is a cone and then it has the bubbly chocolate. And there's like chocolate ones, vanilla ones, strawberry ones. Mmm, I've been wanting to try this. Kobe sparkling apple juice. Made from 100% Kobe apples. I guess that's exciting. So it's carbonated juice. Mmm, smells good. Oh, that is so good. It's kind of apple cidery. Oh, that's delicious. Now I'm sad it's kind of a small can. Oh, that's so good. I really like that. Yeah, it is. It's just carbonated apple, but it's really good apple. Just a little bit tart. I love that. Mm, next is ooh, mini peach ramune. Now, I've only had a couple of these boxes, as I said, but I'm pretty sure I had a similar 
It might have been the Halloween one. It had one of these, and it looked like a little cola can, because they were cola-flavored candies. These are peach ones. And they have this little ring thing, so you open the top. And they're teeny tiny. They're just, like, little... But they taste like a lot. So, yeah. It's kind of a tangy peach. And they're pretty good. I had some last night. I'm not going to eat them now, because then I'll be sucking on it forever. And I have some other things that I need to taste. At least one. Oh, this was good. Bisco mini strawberry cream. So, these are like tiny, tiny little strawberry cream cookies. If I can find the package. It's in here somewhere. I just saw it. Here it is. So, they're very small. They're like... Okay, here. I'll wreck the package so more people see it. They have, oh, they have a heart on them, I was going to say. They've got a picture on them. But these are really good. They're like, the cookie is almost like melt in your mouth. It's, it's a really good cookie and the filling is just good strawberry, so. These are really good cookies, actually. I was impressed. The next thing is mini cherry mochi. These are weird. I know there's like a big variety of mochi, but now these ones, they are, they're in this little tray kind of, and they're square. So what you're supposed to do, if I could get another plastic, is you open this little tray and you take this toothpick and you like stab it out with the toothpick and eat it. Now as mochi go, at first, they're a little bit hard. It had almost the texture of gum. So it threw me off when I ate it at first, because it's almost gum-shaped. And it was sort of like chewing gum, but then after it was in my mouth for a while, it softened up, and then it felt more like the mochi that I'm used to. But they do have, like, they're kind of springy. And the cherry, it's a sweet cherry flavor. Very, very candy. So about what you would expect from cherry candy, I would say. But yeah, the texture's kind of interesting. I starts out like gum and then gets soft, so. I like them. Sweet and salty spring chips. Chips are my downfall in these boxes, and they usually have a fairly big bag, and I always eat them all at once. This was the first thing I ate out of this box, and it was gone within like an hour or so. I don't know about sweet and salty. I don't really remember them being very sweet. <laughs> they were salty and they were delicious and they were a really good texture too because I'm a little bit fussy about chips. I don't like them too thick or too hard. I like them when they're light and crispy and these ones were like the perfect texture. So yeah, I'm not really sure about the sweet part, but the salty was definitely there and they were really good. Ooh, now this is the thing I've been waiting for. New Men's Soy Sauce Ramen. I wish I could show you this, but I don't think it's going to show up on the camera. So, in keeping with this uh, Sakura theme, there are tiny little... I'm trying to get one out. I don't know if I can do it. It's caught. So there are these little blossom-shaped fish cakes inside the ramen. This was interesting because the noodles weren't solid. They were kind of those like half, half cooked noodles. And it only wanted you to put boiling water in for one minute and then it wanted you to drain it and then use fresh water to rehydrate the fish cake and the, like the sauce powder. So that was interesting. I've never seen a ramen that's like dump out the old water and put in new water. So I don't know if it makes a difference. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't really sure. To be honest, when I put the water in as much as it said, it looked kind of thin. So I was like, is this sauce gonna taste like anything? I feel like it got too watered down. But no, no, it tastes like something. It's just soy sauce flavor, but it's good. Mm. <laughs> I'll eat the rest of that later. 
but it's very good. Yeah, that tastes surprisingly like a lot, considering how it looks. Because the broth does look very thin. So that one exceeded expectations. Mmm, speaking of exceeding expectations, this Ghana matcha truffle. So it describes it as a milk chocolate center, a gyokuro green tea coating, and a dusting of matcha powder. And they came in this cute little box. And I actually did share these with my friends and both of them really liked them. As did I. So this was this was a a winner all around. So they're about yay big. And they're very strong and very rich. They're not super sweet because they're very heavy on the matcha and matcha is a little bitter because it's green tea. But it was really good. So yeah, I like these. I have, is it only one left? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm keeping that one for me. <laughs> but yeah, these are really good. I like this. I lost my place. Mm. Ah. Piccolo Sakura Matcha. So, if you've ever seen those, like, roll cookies, that's what this is. They're all broken. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> At least every one I've gotten out has been broken. There's two packages of them, but... <gasps> this is the first whole one I've found! Okay, that's exciting. So, it's a cookie roll. And it's supposed to be... Sakura flavor the, the cookie but it you can't really taste it over the matcha filling mm. I love these I actually like them better than like Pocky because the breadstick in Pocky is a little hard and these are like crispy and light and they're real good mm. yeah you can't really taste the cookie over the matcha the matcha is too strong so, whether the cookie's matcha or the cookie is sakura flavored or not, I couldn't tell you. I can only taste the matcha inside. <laughs> okay, um, I had this in another box. It was probably the Sakura Co. box because these two boxes, the Tokyo Treat and the Sakura Co., are the same company. They do like a whole bunch of different boxes. And this was the Sakura Cherry Boucher. which okay here it is yep the package is exactly the same and i thought oh i had one of these in another box so maybe i'll keep this one intact that didn't work i ate it because <laughs> this was the one that it has the little sakura printed on the top and i wanted to show it this time but no i ate it anyways because it was really good so i will say again um the cake part is super fluffy and delicious and something that i noticed more this time that I don't know if I mentioned the first time was that the cherry cream inside was a little bit tart. So it had like this little sour bite to it, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, I remembered liking this so much that I couldn't resist eating it. So sorry, I can't show it to you again, even though I've already had one. I tried, not very hard, I guess. Oh, this was another thing I ate like right away. I ate the two most savory things first, I guess. So, Yamato cur Curry Sendai. They were a small package, which was sad. So they weren't super spicy, but they were very curry flavored. And I don't know, this says there's senbei, but it also says there's wheat in them. And they tasted more like a, ooh, they still smell good. The package still smells <laughs> like curry. Um, they tasted more like a wheat cracker than a senbei, honestly, which was interesting to me. But they were really good. I would eat more of those. Now this thing also exceeded expectations. If you've seen any of my other videos where there have been wasabi flavored things, I hate wasabi. I don't like the spice and I don't like the taste either. So normally I'll eat one wasabi thing for science, generally spit it out. Um, and then give the rest to my friend who likes wasabi. <laughs> I kind of did that with this. This wasabi potato snack. But not entirely. 
There were two of these. They were kind of like a rice cracker looking thing. I guess they were made of potato because it says potato snack, but they look like just a round sundae type thing. And I will admit at the beginning, it tasted aggressively of horseradish. It wasn't quite as hot as it could have been, I think. I've had worse. So it didn't like burn my mouth off, but it was unpleasantly spicy and unpleasantly horseradish tasting. And then that first layer of the flavor sort of fell away and then it tasted good. I mean, I was still kind of taste blinded by the horseradish punch, but it tasted good after. It was just kind of a salty, savory, good taste. So I actually went back for the second half of the cracker that I tried. I gave the other one to my friend, so she did eat it, but I was kind of like, wait a second, I need to try this again and make sure that it's not as bad as I thought, and it wasn't as bad as I thought, so props to this wasabi potato snack for being the only wasabi thing in any box that I've gone back for seconds. Ah, this thing. I wish I could describe it better. I've been thinking about it since I ate it, and I was like, how can I describe this? And I still can't think of anything to compare it to. This umaibo mentaiko. It was a stick. I like, I had another one of these things, and I love the texture of them, because they're really light and airy, and they almost feel like they're spun out of something. But this one, oh, it was apparently spicy marinated cod roe. Now, it didn't taste super fishy, but it was a tiny bit spicy and nice and salty, and it was delicious, and it was gone in like 10 seconds. So yeah, I'd love to have more of those. They only ever put one in the box. Usually with these, they only put one because it's like a bigger thing. So, all right, this one I'm going to play with a little bit, maybe. It's hard to see it, so... This is another candy gimmick thing. I feel like, especially with the Halloween Tokyo Treat box, I talked about how a lot of them are like pretty standard candy things, but they have some kind of gimmick. Like they had like little chocolates, but they were in a box shaped like a train or the like the peach things are in that little can shaped thing and they had the cola ones in a can shaped thing. So they like to do these like gimmick candies. Now this one, the candy is pretty standard. It's just like a hard, it's like a mini jawbreaker that tastes like strawberry. But the gimmick is, it's a fortune telling thing. So every little pocket has a category on it. And when you punch it out, now this is why it's hard to see, because you punch it out through this foil on the back, and there's a little symbol on the foil that's supposed to tell you like what, like how good your luck is in this area. And I punched out one just to see what it did, and then it like almost tore through the symbol because the symbol's so small. So I actually don't remember what this one was, but whatever it was, I got average luck in it. And I could read only a couple of these. <laughs> so I'm gonna try ones that I can read because they have a, a QR code that you can scan and it will tell and it tells you what all of them say but I can read like a teeny tiny bit of Japanese so I know what a couple of them say. So I'm just gonna do maybe a couple and see if I can get any kind of result out of it. So this one down here is supposed to be gifts. And as you may know, I love gifts. So let me see what my luck is gonna be for gifts. If I can get this out without thoroughly breaking it. Basic luck. Okay, well, that's better than bad luck. If you get an X, it's bad luck. If you get a triangle, it's average luck. And I can't even get the candy to come out. I'm going to eat them later. This one says dreams. I don't know if it means, like, you know, dreams, like, things that you dream of doing or dreams that you're actually having. Because I have really awesome dreams a lot, and I had really awesome dreams last night. And let's see if this... I'm just going to say it means dreams like that I'm having, and we'll see what kind of dreams I'm going to have. Bad dreams? I almost never have bad dreams. I'm a really good lucid dreamer, and if I have a bad dream, if something goes wrong in my dream, then usually my brain will go, that's not right, and just kind of override it until it's better. 
So I'm not afraid of you, Bad Dream Fortune. I can do one more. Um, I don't have a pen pal. And that says adventure, games, singing. I'm terrible at singing. Anybody who's ever been on my Patreon should know that. Let's try, <laughs> just for fun, let's try dates. <laughs> Will I have good dates or bad dates? <laughs> Mm. <gasps> good dates! Really good dates! So my next date is gonna be really good. My next date is probably gonna be going to the aquarium in cosplay as Tanari, so <laughs> apparently that's gonna be a really good date. So I'm done playing with that now. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. That was kind of fun, actually. <laughs> um, is that it? Oh, that's it! I'm done! Okay, so that's it for this box. Uh, yeah, um, so let's talk about stuff I like. Uh, savory things. These chips were gone very quickly. I like those. And I'm also gonna say this was better than I thought. And now I'm gonna eat some more. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. Mm, I don't really know what category to put this in. But I'm going to give a special mention to the drink. Delicious apple. And now, sweet thing? Man, what was my favorite sweet thing? That's hard to say. Oh, I don't want to say this thing again. <laughs> I said this on my other, <laughs> in the other box it was in. So I feel like it's unfair to, oh, okay, I'm going to say this. We'll, we'll go with this. Although it wasn't terribly sweet, it was delicious. Very rich. Very full of matcha flavor. So I'm going to go with this guy for my favorite sweet thing. Everything else was pretty much what I expected. Like, it was good because it was sweet, but it didn't blow me away. So anyway, that box was really fun. I love Tokyo Treat. I don't have a subscription to them, so anytime anyone wants to just randomly send me a box for a month, <laughs> I would appreciate that a lot. I know it's a pain in the butt, though, so don't expect it very often. Anyway, thanks for watching. I have two more reviews to do this month. The Sakura Co. is already sponsored, but the Boxu is still up for grabs. That will be the next one that I do, so if you want to pick my character or outfit or whatever for that, you gotta do that one soon. I will put the links in the description, and I will see you again when I do that review. So, see you next time!